here. Always place one screw at each end of the track, ensuring all your fixings are from the inside of the patio. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self-drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self-drilling zinc Phillip drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. Screw spacing along the top track should be approximately 300 millimeters. Step 5. Release the rope from the cleats. Then slowly lower the blind to the floor. Unzip the blind, making sure to take the zips to the top of the blind on each side. Now we just feed the spline into the side tracks. When fixing the side tracks, make sure that the tracks are nice and level. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self-drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self-drilling zinc Phillip drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. Now the zips can be fully zipped down. Step 6. Secure the breech staple to the patio post or floor. Feed the strap through the stirrup and breech staple as shown here. Tighten by pulling the cord through the strap lock. The blind will be 120 millimeters from the floor once you've done this. Blinds over 4,000 millimeters in width will have a breech staple in the middle of the blind. This is required to secure the center of the blind. Please note that it's important that you make sure the zip is meshing properly. Move the zip up and down until it does so. Tension the zip by pulling down slightly and then secure the bottom of the zip with a screw through the side track as shown here. Step 7. Cutting the skirts. First of all, make sure the pulleys are in the correct location before you begin to cut out the skirts. That is, make sure the spacing is correct. Also, make sure the cord is straight and vertical before cutting the skirt using scissors. How to install an ABC retractable crank operated awning. This is the easiest ABC blind to install. Step 1. Unpack the box. Please note that screws are not included. You will need to obtain screws to complete the installation. Step 2. Working from inside of the patio, secure the side tracks to the patio or enclosure as shown here. Then secure the side track by screwing it to the post or wall. Again, it's important to make sure one screw is positioned at the base of the track and another at the top. Screws should be positioned approximately every 300 millimeters. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self-drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self-drilling zinc Phillip drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. Step 3. Insert the pivot pin with the plastic grommet into the end of the tube. You need to locate the square pin into the control end first. Finally, insert the locking pin through the top of the bracket. It's important the pin is inserted from the top, otherwise you risk the pin falling out. Step 4. Locking pins. First, locate where you'd like to drill the holes for each of the two locking pins. Drill the two holes into the side track using an 8mm drill bit. The angle of the hole should be approximately 15 degrees. The hole in the back of the track needs to be around 10 millimeters below the level of the hole you drill into the front of the track. Please note, the bottom hole should be at least 80 millimeters up from the floor. Otherwise, you can choose to locate the holes and pins wherever you choose along the track. Step 5. Attach the crank handle and turn it to lower or raise the blind. It is important to back tension the blind. This can be done by turning the handle an extra half turn to tension the blind once it's tight against the locking pins. How to install an ABC blinds automatic warning. Step 1. 
Unpack the box and lay out all the components. Please note that screws are not included. You will need to obtain screws to complete the installation. Step 2. Fit the head box by fixing the end caps to the wall. It's absolutely critical that the head box is fitted level. The recommended screws are as follows. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self drilling zinc Phillip drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. For bricks, you need to use green wall plugs and 10 gauge 37 mm timber screws. Step 3. Secure the guide arms to the head box. Fit to the bottom hole of the head box cover. Step 4. Secure the roller into the head box as shown. Then position the ends into the bracket. Slide the pins into the groove. Slide the auto arm into the guide arm as shown here. Step 5. Screw the auto arm onto the guide arm on both sides. The screw will already be in the base rail. Step 6. Lower the blind to the bottom of the guide arms. Slide on the L bracket to the bottom of the guide arms. It is important to make sure the guide arms are level and vertical. They won't slide down if they aren't parallel. Then, screw the L bracket into the wall. The recommended screws are as follows. The recommended screws to use are, for timber, use an 8 gauge self drilling into timber screw. These steel screws are zinc coated. If you're drilling into steel, you'll need self-drilling zinc Phillip drive 8 to 18 gauge screws. For bricks, you need to use green wall plugs and 10 gauge 37 mm timber screws. Please note that if the blind has a drop greater than 2000 mm, then a pull ring is required. This goes in the middle of the base rail, so you can move the base rail with the pull stick supplied. Step 7. Operate by tilting the base rail back and down towards the window. This will release the auto arm so you can then lower or raise the blind. How to operate your five-sided base rail blinds with zips and the tube and stirrup blinds. Step 1. Undo the locks. Step 2. Undo the zips, making sure to pull the zips right to the top of the blind. Step 3. Remove the cord from the cleats. Step 4. Pull the cord down to roll up the blind. Step 5. Tie the cords around the cleats. Note that small blinds will require training to roll them up straight. If the blind is not rolling up and down straight, take the time to lower it and re-roll it up slowly and carefully. How simple was that?